Hello, this is me trying to figure this out. Today is Friday and it is my official like first day of um, the last day of my senior year, I guess. Technically, I'm, I, I'm still a senior because I have one more, one more semester, but yesterday was my last day and I'm feeling good. So I leave to go back home for summer break. Um, in two days, my hair is uncooperative. Um, forgive her. I leave to go back home on Sunday, like, well, technically Monday, but it's like Sunday in the middle of the night. So we're gonna call it Sunday. And I've been packing um, a bit because when I come back in July, I'll be moving. My books need to get packed and I've been putting them off for so long because I don't wanna mess up how beautiful they look. I already started messing it up, so like ignore that, but like look at her. She's so pretty. I had to I had to begin, so thought I would thought I would share. For starters, I do have a pile of books that I'm going to bring home with me, like the first time I go home in a few days. Um, because these are some books I haven't read that are like at the top of my TBR and um I feel like I could probably get through a majority of them in the summer and if I don't then they'll just stay there for now. These are the ones I'm bringing with me. I'm gonna bring Exit West, Ninth House, The Song of Achilles, Last Night at the Telegraph Club. These last three are probably actually my most anticipated ones. Like I'll probably read these ones really really soon. So we have <laughs> She gets the girl. And then the new R Settle and Dante book, which I think I'm actually gonna buddy read with my friend for the first time. I'm so excited. I've never actually like buddy read anything with anyone. And my most anticipated book, probably the next one I'm gonna read, is The Atlas Six. So that's my pile of books that I'm gonna bring with me. Will they be really heavy? Yeah. Have I done it before? <laughs> yeah. It's not fun. So now I'm trying to figure out which books to keep. That sound is so horrific. I'm trying to figure out which ones to keep um, with me for the next five months that I'm living um, here. Not here, but like here, you know? The only two I have so far that I, I'm like certain I wanna keep um, because I'm thinking. So at first when I was talking to my friends, I was like, I'll keep like 30 books. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. But then I then I, I was thinking about it a little harder and I was like, you know, maybe I, I should like cut that down a little, <laughs> like maybe just a little. So now I'm thinking 15 books. I'm thinking five-ish that I've already read that I just like to look through and like read through every once in a while. Um, and then 10-ish that are unread. So anyway. Definitely gonna keep the space between the worlds. I read this earlier this year and it's still like I'm stuck with it. Like I stayed here. And also, this is how you lose the time war because I frequently go through this and like reread parts and I would love to reread it. So, first, I have this stack of classics that I've already read that I'm gonna put in a box that's right behind you. It's right behind you. Um, because, you know, I, I don't need these for right now. Also, speaking of new books, was I even, was I even speaking of new books? Um, but I ordered this book yesterday, or I got it yesterday, I ordered it the other day, because I finished, where are they, where's the, I lost them. Oh, they're right here. I finished the first two Killing Eve books, and I went and ordered the third one on Book Depository, and then it said it was, like, not gonna be here for, like, until, like, I was gone, so I was like, no, we can't have that, so I had to make a godforsaken Amazon purchase, um, but worth it because I needed to get this on time, um, so yeah, got the third one, Die For Me, and this is really funny because none of the other books have, like, um, dedication pages except for this one, and it just says, For the Clowns. Who, me? I just felt so called out there. Anyway, I need to go do my laundry. So, um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go do that. And then, um, I'll come back. <sighs> okay, I'm back. 
and really sweaty. So first I'll take all these knickknacks off my shelf, which I have quite a lot of. Here are my knickknacks that were on my shelf. Got loads of tabs, obviously. This little origami heart that would like sit on my shelf. This little pot with the big plant. I have this toy that I got out of a cereal box. This is the one I wanted and I was so excited. It reminds me of Phoebe Bridgers. I also got this little alien that I got out of a bath bomb. Then I have this camera. If I can figure out how to open it. I did it. Look. Then I have this little tray with my rings. Um, yeah, this is actually like a tray from like a sushi restaurant for the soy sauce, but I used it for my rings. Lastly, I have this um, cup that has an A on it. I actually found this at Goodwill. It was such a good find. Like, are you kidding me? Look how cute this is. And I have all my bookmarks. Um, that's pretty much it. It's just all my bookmarks. And I have this um, this little tube of sunflower seeds that my friend Phoebe got me from Paris. These are all my bookmarks. I'll show you some of the highlights. This bookmark from Book Monster, which closed and I'm really upset about. Um, I just have like every bookstore I go to, or if I find one, like I found this bookmark. I don't even remember where I found this, but I found this bookmark and I just like kept it for literally no reason. <laughs> I'll never use this, but it's part of my collection. One from the drum bookstore. Um, this one I actually found in a book I got from Goodwill, Drum Book Depository, speaking of. Um, this one I found in a, in a, like, uh, free little library. I have so many of these ones from Small World Books in, um, Venice. This one is from one of my friends, Tati. I bought, like, one of her poetry books and she sent me this bookmark with it. And then two of my most precious bookmarks are these ones that I got from this person at the bottom's trading post. I'll link their Instagram down below if I can find it. I know I follow it, but um, yeah, then this is the second one I got. It's like smaller and has this cute pink tassel. This one had a gold one, but then it, it fell apart, but this one's still going strong. And then I have these little um, leaf bookmarks that my friend Cass got me like in high school. I just found this one today in one of my books. That's the fun thing is I leave them in books all the time and then I find them and I rediscover them. Okay, so we have one shelf down here which is classics and nonfiction. So I took off all the classics I've already read, but not any of the classics or nonfiction that I haven't read. So these are all books I've read that like, they're all right, like they're fine. Um, then this is my favorite shelf. And then up there we have two more shelves, which is mostly comics and then just like more, more random books. So I do also have, I'll show y'all a pile. You can't see it, but it's like right behind me. Um, of books I'm getting rid of. So now here's the segment where I justify why I'm not getting rid of these books. Okay, ready? We have Eliza and her monsters. I really like this book. That's it, I wanna keep it, I really liked it. I'll read it again for sure. Um, Girl, Woman, Other, I like this book. Okay, then we have the girls, then we have um, Illuminae, which I'm only keeping for material purposes. I'm literally just keeping this because the book without this dust jacket on is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Next we have Friday Black. This is, I just, I, I want it and I'll, I'll read it again. Short stories. The Martian and Wilder Girls. Okay. I think I might get rid of one of these here in this pile, but let's go through it. So we have Gone Girl. Honestly, I probably won't read this again, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Bing. Love this book. Love the show. Their Eyes Are Watching God. This was um, such a beautiful copy that I found. So, like, I'm not getting rid of it. Sorry. It's not happening. And Station Eleven. I would love to read this book again, too. Okay, next we have Essays Against Everything. I really like this book. This is one that's, like, you know, 
I look and reread parts I've highlighted and sold. Okay, this one, this one is the one I'm thinking about. Maybe I would get rid of, which is blackout. Um, but again, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't want to get rid of it because look at this. Like, I'm sorry, but this is literally taller than me. Oh my god. I can't believe this many books fit on there. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, next books we have that I'm just gonna put also in this box that I'm keeping. Honey Girl. We've got Falling in Love Montage. I don't think of you until I do. We have Hope in the Dark by Rebecca Solnit. It's a good book. Scary stories to tell in the dark. We have Written in the Stars. Hang the Moon. Count Yogi Stars. I would never get rid of them. Why would I do that? Okay, then we have Essays After 80 by Donald Hall. Ooh, The House on Mango Street. I didn't realize that this was up there, so I'm gonna get rid of this. New Poems by Emily Dickinson, and I would leave me if I could buy Halsey. Okay, then we have this book, The Girlhood of Shakespeare's Heroines, My Obsession. This one I'm gonna keep with me. Um, Death Industrial Complex, it's a poetry book. We have La Bella Jar, and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, The Fucky Diet, Radio Silence, I might get rid of this. And we have, I'm thinking of ending things. Shades of Blue, There's a Hair, The Book Thief, and I Kissed a Girl. So these are all books, you know, I'm keeping, but I'm not gonna keep with me for the next five months. Okay, now we'll, we'll go to my favorite shelf. Yeah, next stack. All right, let's get it done. We've got First two Kiyoshi novels, Rise of Kiyoshi and Shadow of Kiyoshi. Bless up. Obviously I'm keeping them. Duh. Okay, then we have uh, these switches. Don't burn in this coven, won't break. We have Dead Dead Girls. City of Girls. Ugh. I would love to read this again. Stacks are getting very very tall. <laughs> okay. Next we have House of Hollow. Next we have One Last Stop. Okay, we need to start a new stack. It's getting, it's, it's too much. We have something to talk about. Oh my god, maybe I should keep this. That's getting put in the maybe pile. We have Fangirl the Manga. City of Shattered Light. The Giver. Empty Without You. <laughs> I love this one so much. Okay, and we have Sister Outsider by Audrey Lord. We have Her, My Year of Rest and Relaxation. We have The Invisible Life of Anna in the Room. Next, we have Ace of Spades and In the Dream House. I really want to reread this like so badly. Okay, we only have one more shelf and this is like all my comics and it's going to be really chaotic. But we have to do it. Oh wait. Oh my god, I forgot I have a whole other pile right over here. Okay, well, let's actually do this pile then. We have The Ladies Guide to Celestial Mechanics. This book is so good. We have Women Who Run With the Wolves, Crush, Night Sky with Exit Wounds. How am I supposed to do this? On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous. This was another one I think I might keep because it's a really fun romance. And this one I've only read once, which is Hairpin Curves. And then we have Cars War and Iron Heart. I just looked at the camera timestamp and it was two, 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 two. Okay, next stack of books. Well, first, on top of my stack of books is my Harley Cup. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This mallet? First, we have things have gotten worse since we last spoke. Pet Cemetery. Um, I married my best friend to shut my parents up. Um, this book wasn't even that good. Like, it really was not even that good at all. But I just think it's so funny that that's what the title is, that I want to keep it. That Big Little Lies. The Perks of Loving a Wallflower. Normal People. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You really just don't, you just don't even realize. Um, how much you've accumulated until it's in abundant stacks in front of you. Okay, we've got Payback's a Witch, 
the bell jar. Also, I'm so mad at myself. Look how far out these tabs are. No, this is what they should look like. I've changed my ways. This is what the tabs should look like. They're barely out, not like this. No, what is this? Sex education road trip. This this is so close to falling. I can just see it. Like it's like a it's like a Jenga pile. That's literally what it looks like. Next we have nothing to see here. Next we have quiet, which I'm debating keeping with me. Tender is the flesh. Vanishing girls. We got the coldest touch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to start a new pile. Uh huh. And we have Mexican Gothic. We just have one more shelf. <sighs> Ready? Okay. This is so heavy. Oh my god. Okay. It's what it's the way this box is literally gonna weigh like a thousand fucking pounds. Okay. All right. Here we are. Okay, first we've got Paco Call Home, a poetry collection. And the Four Agreements, which I sort of kind of want to get rid of, but I, I don't feel like it's our time to part. We have Whatever Happened to Interracial Love. This book, All Along You Were Blooming. I might get rid of this. Then we have, like, all of my Avatar and Legend of Korra comics. Yeah, okay. Um, can you guys not have the first three Turf Wars part one, Turf Wars part two, and Turf Wars part three, then Rose of the Empire part one, two, and three, and then Avatar comics, I have these ones, which is The Promise, which is like the bigger one, I have the rift and they go together like they make a picture which is really cute i want all of them like that but i already messed it up i already messed this all up but the rest of them that i have are like very out of order so i've read the search um but i only own part two and part three and then i have in balance part one and part three and i've read part three but none of the other ones and then, um, these ones are like the standalone ones. So these are just Team Avatar Tales. This is Toph Bay Fong's Metal Bending Academy. Then we have Suki Alone and Katara and the Pirates Silver. Those are all of those. Then I have this Marvel's Runaway comic. I have Lost at Sea and then Sheets, Nimona, or the Moon, um, which is the Dragon Prince comic which is a really great show on Netflix. And then I have the first Heartstopper comic and Fun Home. <sighs> Did you think we were done? Because we're not. We're not done. <laughs> so next, I have this comic that I haven't read either yet. Owen Fonte. There's a lot of comics I have that I haven't read. So that's really not good doing that. I have What If We Were. This is a really cute comic. Moving on, we have all my Harley Quinn comics that are unread, except for one. I read this one. So I have this one, which is uh, volume six, black, white, and red all over. I also have this Birds of Prey comic, uh, volume two, Your Kiss Might Kill, with Ivy in it. I haven't read it. I haven't read the first volume either. We have this Suicide Squad one, volume three, Freedom. I don't know. I don't know why I buy them out of order. Then I have these two, which are probably are the ones I'm most excited for. This one, Harley Quinn, volume two, Harley Destroys the Universe. Very cute. And uh, volume five, Boat Harley. Next we have this comic, Moonstruck, which I also have not read. And I know it has a second comic after it too, so I need to get on that. These ones though, I think are all red. So I'll show you, we have Safe Sex. Heavy vinyl. We have Snot Girl, which I didn't love, um, but I love the art, and for that reason, I want to read all the rest of them. And we have the first four saga comics, which also I love, and I would love to read the rest of them. I also have this Lumberjanes comic, Campfire Songs, 
And lastly, the Love is Love comic. I also have these zines. Um, oh, got another bookmark, see? What did I say? I have this zine called Oat Me Out. I also have this zine called, uh, I think it's called Forced Trist. Forced Trist. Um, and this one called Shit's Fuck. Mm -hmm. And it has 3D glasses, which is really cool. These are also some books I haven't read. <laughs> we have Writing Down the Bones. We have another bookmark. We have the select poems of Emily Dickinson, which I'm on page 26 of. Here's another bookmark. And also Little Women. Well, I forgot to show these, so here's more comics. <laughs> and these are like single comics that you can get from the comic book store. Um, so these are ones that I've read. I have The Cursed, Harley Quinn, Eben Kiltor, issue one and five. I've read all of the issues, but these are the only physical ones that I have. And then we have Mamo, The Legend of Korra, the comic book fairy comic, and Save Yourself. And I have this like zine. It's not really like a comic, yeah. It's more like a zine. My alarm went off for my laundry so now it's ready for me to switch it into the dryer and I just don't want to do that right now. <sighs> I feel like if I get up and like make any sudden movement everything's gonna collapse around me. Okay I'm going to have to take a short break and uh, put my laundry in the dryer and then I will be back so yeah I'll see you then. Okay I am back and I am almost done. I think I'm going to a little stack of books I haven't read. So we have She Who Became the Sun. Haven't read that yet. Fingersmith, The Southern Book Club. The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. So these are like ones I might keep in the for the fall. We have Little Universes. We have The Ones We're Meant to Find and Yoke. I am so shocked I didn't take these stickers off. They are annoying me so much right now. <laughs> I always take the stickers off. Anyway, we have, what's this called? Brown Coat Dreaming. We have sex work, writings by women in the sex industry. I Kissed Alice. Orange is the New Black. This book called Hiding in Unnatural Happiness and Love is Letting Go of Fear. We have The Nightingale, Winter Counts. Next three books are Outlawed, Leave the World Behind, and All the Light We Cannot See. We have this play, Bright Half Life. Where did the other one go? There was another one, there was another one. I lost it, what the fuck. Future Shock. Classic ghost stories. House of Leaves and The Light in the Attic. And then I have all of these comics. Oh, here's the other one that I was panting over. Stop this. Okay, so we have all these comics that I haven't read. Um, we have this Harley Quinn one. We have this um, Cursed Pirate Girl in the Devil's Cave. This one is so cool. This one was really, like, well, not really expensive. It was more expensive than usual. Usually these comics are like four dollars. This one is ten. So worth it though, because look at this. Like the art style in this is so incredible. They have like these pages where it like opens up. What? Then I have these two comics, Rain, the first and second edition. The rest of these comics I got from a mystery pack. Of like it was like eight of them for four dollars so it was such a good deal i had to get it um but yeah normally i wouldn't have these many um these many this many so we have this one called second coming this one called unfollow this one called i breathed a body really cool title and cover next we have bone parish Ruby Falls. I love the cover of this one. Steeple. Yeah. Steeple. 
this Buffy the Vampire Slayer comic and this one called Fear Case and then on top of all of those I have um, this after comic from Free Comic Book Day and this comic called Galaxy so I have all of those and I also have this Harley Quinn comic this one I have read though and I've read all the ones that go along with it. Good job there. Did that for sure. Oh my god, I literally thought I was done. I literally thought I was like, okay, I'm about to say which one I'm gonna bring with me. No, we're not done. There's a bunch of other ones right here. Okay? So yeah, we are magical thinking with Joan Didion. Why are all the black kids sitting together in the cafeteria? <sighs> wow, no thank you. Bad Feminist, Pride and Prejudice, Lolita. I was thinking of keeping like two classics with me to like force myself to read them, you know? I have How to Be an Anti-Racist, The Well of Loneliness, Song of Solomon, Frankenstein, The Catcher in the Rye, um, Murder on the Orient Express. Nobody knows my name, and I know I had a cage for things. So far, it looks like I have like these of ones I've read that I want to keep. So let's try and narrow it down to like five. So I have something to talk about. Crush, Death Industrial Complex. I think I'll definitely keep both of these because they're tiny. Quiet, power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. This is how you lose the time war. That's definite. And the space between worlds. Hairpin curves. Yeah, I think I'll definitely keep this one because I want to reread that. And in the dream house. So here we have like, we'll call this four. We'll call this four even though it's actually five. And um, okay, I think I'll do in the dream house because I really want to reread it. Okay, now we have comics that I'm like, should I keep? And other random stuff. So I have this poetry book by Emily Dickinson. I'm gonna keep that because it's tiny. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep these two. I don't wanna just keep this as decor. I haven't even thought about all of these. I have not even given any thought. Okay, so yeah, I think I'll keep those three Harley comics and also this and this one and these two because I wanna read these. Let's visit the stack of books on my side table. I have Without by Donald Hall, which I read a little bit. I have a bookmark in it. Then Bruja, which I just started reading. And then I have these four um, Bolero comics that I'm gonna read this weekend. I'm gonna read this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to do it. And then I have Ariel by Sylvia Plath, which I've read all of, um, but there's also like a, like this version of the book has like basically like all of her drafts in it, which is just the whole book all over again. So I just haven't like gone around to like really going through that part. Now let's go over the books I'm gonna get rid of and then I'll go over um, what I haven't read that I'm going to keep so I can read in the, in the future, in the next five, six months, you know? Now to be even more annoying, I do have a definitely getting rid of pile and a maybe I'm getting rid of pile. Okay, so definitely getting rid of. I'm definitely getting rid of all along. You are blooming. Definitely getting rid of radio silence. Um, some of these I'm going to give to friends like this one. It's under my bookshelf. Long way down. I'm going to give to my friend. The house on Mango Street. Annihilation. A Monster Calls, Tell Me How You Really Feel, Slaughterhouse Five, these two random zines from a really long time ago. This one's called Don't Buy a Rabbit, and this one's called The New Perspective. Getting rid of When No One Is Watching, I'm gonna get rid of everything I never told you. Getting rid of anxious people, I hate that I have to like get rid of books I've bought at full price. Um, like <laughs> the feeling of doing that just sucks. But I didn't really like that book at all. Getting rid of Julia Takes a Breath. Getting rid of Room. Quite a big on haul here, you guys. 
getting rid of Queenie, getting rid of the girl on the train, kissing Kate, be pray love, getting rid of Heart of Darkness, and then these ones are maybes. So you have the outsiders, never kiss your roommate, it's not like it's a secret, um, like both of these I bought at full price and I haven't read either of them yet. Um, but this one, I read the author's, one of the author's other books, and I really didn't like it, and it was one that I really thought I would like, and I didn't like it, so I feel like I'm not gonna like this one. And Where the Hot Dad Sing, both of these books I haven't read yet, because, um, I've heard the authors are really problematic, so I haven't read them. And The Death of Eva Grochi, which is also upsetting, because I bought this, I thought it was a bargain, I bought it for $10. I mean, it was, but I didn't love the book. So these are all maybes. So don't like come for me if you see me reading them one day. These are the ones I'm definitely keeping that I have read. And there's some comics that apparently I'm also definitely keeping. Well, it makes the decisions around here. I'm thinking we'll keep maybe around 10. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one, this sex work, um, nonfiction, and definitely going to keep this guy and Fingersmith. I've wanted to read this for a really long time, so we'll keep her. I think maybe I'll keep Outlawed and She Who Became the Sun. So that is five right there. So I was thinking I might also keep Little Women one or two classics and I think we're good. I think I'm gonna keep Lolita. I've had this for a really long time and Frankenstein. I think this might be it. I think I did it. Did I do it? D is four. I'm definitely going to give to my friend. Yeah, instead of getting rid of them. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna do like for getting rid of them. Like, I don't know if I'm going to um sell them or just donate them i don't really know okay well that's really it let me show you what the setup looks like right now <laughs> um and then i'm just gonna put them all in a box and uh go into morning thanks for joining me y'all i hope you had fun um let me show you what this all looks like right now okay bird's eye view <laughs> um yeah i actually had like two more stacks right here but um I put more of my unread books here and then stuff I want to keep with me and then this is uh, stuff I'm getting rid of so still quite a bit of a mess but I got it taken care of for the most part okay now I'm gonna put these all in the box and hope for the best I'm gonna call my friends actually because <laughs> I need moral support while packing and my room is so empty it's so bland all the stuff is off the walls it's so weird. It feels so weird for this all to be happening right now, but it is. So, yeah. Thanks for coming along with me on this little journey. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, friends. <laughs>